Okay, so Jose Aldo is set to face Rob Font in just a few days, and um, <laughs> we're facing a Conor McGregor player. Let's get it. I gotta say, man, I am uh, I'm more than a little bit worried for Jose Aldo in this fight, and it's it's not that I don't think he has the skills to get it done. I just worry about how long he'll be able to keep it up against Rob Font in a five-round fight. I mean, we just saw Rob in a solid, solid five-round performance against Cody Garbrandt in a fight where he essentially outboxed Cody, kept him on the back foot for a vast majority of the fight, um, pieced him up with the jab. Are you there, bro? There you are. Pieced up Cody with the jab. You know, mixing up very, very good combinations with that jab, jab, cross. He was just doing a very good job against Cody. Now, Cody definitely landed a few solid leg kicks. And then Aldo, this dude is already rocked. His leg is already fucked. What the heck? Oh, bro, this is this fight is not starting off well for you at all. I'm going to be kicking this man's legs a lot. But I'm going to be doing it in a very sneaky way. I don't want to make it too obvious. Nice. Nice. But yeah, Cody was able to land some very good leg kicks against Rob. And Rob wasn't, you know, he wasn't doing the best job of uh, checking him. So I think if there is one fight that maybe solid leg kicks will really be very good, it's it's this one, man. I, I I'm hoping Aldo brings them back, and I'm not just talking about brings them back for like for like one round or two rounds. I'm talking like really, really brings them back. Like I'm gonna be using it against this man right here, where it's it's a solid weapon that he's consistently looking looking to land. Cause like. Do I think he can box with Rob Font? Yes, Aldo can box with anybody in the UFC. He absolutely can. The problem is, can he keep it up? You know, he's he can box with you solid for like round one, round two, maybe three rounds. But once we start getting into... Dude, look at how my strike is whiffing. This Celtic cross is a problem, bro. But, you know... When we start getting into round number four, and as a fight gets longer, especially if Aldo is facing someone that doesn't gas easy, someone that pushes him really well, he could have problem with his conditioning. So, we'll see. Personally, I'm, I'm really hoping that another thing that Aldo typically does that doesn't exactly help his, uh, his stamina, Rocked. Set him back. One more thing Aldo does that doesn't really help his stamina is, you know, like, for example, if you guys take a look at someone like Floyd, I use Floyd as an example all the time because, well, for one, he's my favorite boxer. And he's very efficient with his boxing. Like, when he pulls counter, like, when he pulls counters is what I meant to say. There we go. Round is over. My round. Like, if he pulls and he throws a cross, he typically will throw one shot. So, pull, throw one shot, and then let it go. That's it. But with Jose Aldo, if you guys watch his fight against Max Holloway, Holloway was... I mean, Aldo was countering him very, very well. But Jose would, like, he'll pull, he'll throw a cross, he'll follow up with a left hook, he'll follow up with a cross and another left hook. So he was throwing like four shot combinations every time he would pull. And he was throwing them with speed, with power, with explosiveness. And that kind of, those kind of actions, it's very difficult to keep it up, especially against someone like Max Holloway, who won. You're not going to really get him out of there, let's just be honest. And two, oh damn. Two, he's not going to gas out anytime soon so personally I'd like to see Aldo just keep his shots very short very short like he did in his last fight to be honest against Pedro Munoz um, 
it wasn't on, it wasn't until close to the end that he started letting combos fly and I think if he can if he can implement a style like that against Rob who knows just don't throw too many combinations nice especially with the boxing got him like that pull hit him let it go So right now, I'm kind of letting this dude off the hook a little bit, like... But I'm thinking of... I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking of getting a leg kick TKO. Let's see if we can do it. Another one. Oh-ho. Sitting down. Oh my god, that was brutal. Get up, brother. Oh, that leg is butchered. He's in southpaw. I mean, he's in conventional though. So the leg that's really damaged is his uh, his right leg. Nice. Nice. Do you guys see that? That happens too often with the Celtic cross. Like, you'll slip and try to throw your straight, but it just whiffs. Oh, he got me. Get him at range. Right where I want him and start slanging kicks to the legs. Body, fake the leg kick, then go. Fake the leg kick, go to the body. Okay, good round. Yeah, we're just keeping it real clean. I want to keep it real clean with this first one. Um, I don't really want too much Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Kind of tit, tit for tat a little bit. Let's get it. And yes, voice is like it is because baby is sleeping. So, yes, I'm fine. Everything's good. Just rocked. Oh, when he's moving his head like that, that's the perfect time to start blasting leg kicks. Now you guys notice how I'm not I'm not throwing the leg kick so much that he remembers it. Like you gotta There you go. Like you gotta you throw it, but let them forget about it as well. Like let them forget that you were just working their legs. Because if, if, you, if you let them remember, that's when they start checking it and you could damage your own legs and all that shit, so. Both legs are completely done though now. Now we can start landing combos with the leg kicks. Now we can get tricky. Now we can start hiding the leg kicks a little bit. There we go. Another one. There we go. Look at how badly his legs are damaged. His left leg is dusted right now, and his right leg is dusted as well. Yep. Dude, a whiff. That's it, another one. Oh, another one. It's almost over, folks. It's almost over. We're getting to leg kick TKO territory right now, folks. You see, now he's starting to check it, though. Let's be careful. Let him forget a little bit. There we go. Right kick. That's it. That's it. Yes. 
<laughs> and he's gone. That's okay. That's okay. We got my. T I got the TKO. I got the leg kick TKO that I was looking for. I am happy. Yeah, baby. Go right ahead and leave a like for that one. It's been a while since I since since we showcased the leg kick TKO on this channel. So go right ahead, leave a solid like for that one. Leg kick that like button. Let's see if we can get to uh, a thousand likes in this video. All right. I am definitely happy with that uh, with that performance. Let's keep it moving. We're fighting Connor again. This time, a Division Twenty player. I know who this guy is now. For this dude, for this dude, I'm going to need to go at him. Like I'm not gonna be waiting around at all. So. Thank you, because it will snowball. There you go. It will snowball if I let him get going with Connor, and I'm not going to let that happen. He's moving me to the cage because that's where he wants me. I'm not going to let that happen, brother. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, sir. No, no. It will not snowball on me, bro. Come on. Control the center at all cost. Back up. Now notice how I'm consistently keeping them at range with my teeps. There we go. And he's trying to do the same thing. He understands what's at stake here. He understands that whoever controls the center right now wins. And I can't let him keep doing this. Where he catches my kick and then moves me to the cage. There you go. Nice teep. Nice. Nice. Come on. up back up there we go set him down don't do that good <sighs> all right that could have gone downhill fast that fight right there could have gone downhill way fast way fast we literally had to jump him we had to jump him all right good very good i'm pretty sure he's gonna make the adjustment next next time we meet up but that's two and zero right now brother i'll see you again soon i'll see you again soon i know you'll make adjustments all right folks let's move on jose aldo versus cub swanson this is another one that if you're not careful can go downhill so I'm going to treat this player like I just treated the last guy I'm going to assume he knows what he's doing yep I have to assume you know exactly what you're doing cub okay Body. A kick. A kick. Nice. He's looking. He's looking for his teeps. That's very good. Now get out the cage. Okay. You guys will notice I'm not I'm not throwing too many combinations at him. I'm just consist I'm I'm just consistently throwing single shots at him, but I am keeping the work rate high. That's going to consistently interrupt him. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. 
Let's see if he has the Stugats to keep going just like this. I made the right read. On, I, I made the right read against this dude. Yeah, see how it's like I'm throwing singles at him? You don't need combinations. You don't, you really don't need combos. If you can just, again, vary up your attack, but keep it consistent. So boom, 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 boom. This rhythm right here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Nice. He's good. He's very good. I am glad I jumped him. Back up. There we go. That's it. If you guys run into a Cub Swanson and don't don't quit, he quit out. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take you out of your misery. That's okay, brother. Gave up. If you guys run into a Cub Swanson and unranked, um, especially now, especially now, to just take them very seriously because Cub Swanson is a lot better than you might think. He's a lot better than you might think. He's way more competitive than you might think. Especially in the hands of someone that knows what they're doing. So. Respect to this dude. Respect to the last dude that I fought. That last guy that I fought. That Conor McGregor. Next time I run into him. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how it goes. Because now I've got him twice. And I'm pretty sure next time I run into him. It's going to be a little bit different. Like he He's going to try to jump me. And. We'll see how, how we handle that. So, But that is it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this fighter showcase with Aldo. Let me know in the comments section who you guys think is going to win the fight. Aldo versus Rob Font. And I'll see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Love you guys.